guys I am back with another tutorial and I came up with this look today it's a little fun um, kind of like glowy but yet um, simple kind of bronzy eye but with a bold lip and I love a bold lip with a more of a cool tone, bronzy look on the eyes. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous on anybody, even if you have blue eyes, green eyes, especially the brown eyes like mine. Um, so if you like this look, and I hope you do, um, just stay tuned and keep on watching and enjoy the video. Talk to you guys soon. Bye! I am so sick. <clears throat> am I filming? Oh my god, I'm still recording. Wowzers. Bye, y'all. Tutorial. I am starting off with, of course, my holy girl, the Anastasia of Beverly Hills. And this one is in caramel. And this stuff is amazing. You should try it. Here I'm just pretty much outlining the ridge of my eyebrows just to give it a cleaner look. You can use concealer. I'm just using a non-name palette that I got from online on Amazon.com. It was literally about maybe like 10 bucks. And this will just give you a really clean edge and make it look like you just waxed your eyebrows, which we know sometimes we don't have time. So this will be perfect for you ladies. Okay, so starting off with the Urban Decay uh, primer on the eyelids, just smearing that all over my eyelids. Now, don't and judge me on this. I told you guys, don't judge. Now going back with the lavish palette, let's get back to the regular program. I am going in with the C, I'm sorry, not Sienna, orange soda. And I'm gonna just keep piling this on until I get the intensity that you want. I love this color as a transition shade. It's perfect, it's like a peachy nude. And it just goes such beautiful, it's beautiful. Now I'm going in with rum cake and I am going in with a MAC 217 and just applying that all in my crease. And you want to go back and forth in windshield wiper motions and keep packing that on until you get the intensity you want. Now just to okay, smooth so any here lines, I am gonna you want to go, go back in with, in with orange Pro soda or pink and just kind of smooth out those from harsh Mac. lines. And I'm going to just pack that on with a flat brush all over the eyelid, kind of creating like a cut crease. So this is a little bit of a daytime cut crease, but not really. You guys get the point, right? And NYX Shimmer with a little bit of Fix Plus. I love this Fix Plus because it will make any eyeshadow just more vibrant. So if you have a dull shadow, definitely use a little bit of a spray of the Fix Plus and it will be popping. Now going in with any brown eyeliner, this is the MAC one. I am, instead of doing a black eyeliner, you wanna do a brown eyeliner with this look because we're gonna have such a bold lip. You wanna do something a little bit more daytime appropriate and also more um, on the natural side. So this is a very good alternative, a brown eyeliner. Just clean that up the edges. Now, moving on to the face, we are going in with a Real Technique brush, and I have to mix a couple shades from the Revlon Color Stay only because my face is pasty white. So definitely need to go a couple dark shades 
a couple shades darker, my bad, than my actual skin color on my face because apparently my face never wants to tan. So I have to go in with, um, you know, a different color. Us girls gotta do what we gotta do. Now going in with the Pro Longwear Camouflage. If you guys haven't tried this, please do so. This is like a total dupe for the MAC Pro Longwear. I love this. And going in with my trusty Beauty Blender and Fix Plus, just to sheer that out a little bit more. Pack that under your eye, make it nice and bright, give you that beautiful Kim K under eye you want. Now here I'm going in with a MAC. I don't really remember the name of it, but it is similar to the banana powder. And it's just a yellow powder, it's a setting powder. And you put under the eyes, and I'm using a Sigma brush. And just apply that right under the eyes. Wherever you highlight it is exactly where you're gonna put this. Going in with NARS, I am Stromboli. Uh, apparently, I love me a full coverage, so don't judge, people. This is a Real Techniques powder brush, in case you guys didn't know. I'm about that Real Technique brush life. Okay, going in with Too Faced in Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Um, can you smell this bronzer? It is so delicious. It smells straight like chocolate. You just wanna eat it out of there. We're gonna bronze up the whole skin um, with this MAC brush. I am pretty much just bronzing my entire face, but I'm gonna go in and contour just a tiny bit, not really, but just a tad, with a, of course, my Real Technique brush. And here it comes. There you go. Love me some Real Technique brushes. Just contour your temples, the sides of your cheeks, your cheekbones, and a tiny bit of your nose. Now this is the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster and I'm using a MAC brush as well and just bronzing up the skin a little bit more. This does have some shimmer in it. You can find this at the drugstore about, I think And this like highlight is the Fergie Wet n Wild in Center Stage Collection and it is a shimmer also and of course you know I love highlights. Who doesn't, right? Shimmer, shimmer. Okay, going back in with the eyes. I like to do the under eyes when I am done with my concealer and everything. And of course, there goes my little beyond. Say, breathe, going on. And just All right, going back in with the rum cake. And I'm mixing a little bit of sienna with truffle as well. I'm going under the eyelashes just to give it a little bit more of a sultry look. Going in with Tarte Mascara. I'll apply a couple coats to your lashes, but of course I live with some long lashes. So I coat my lashes about, oh, I don't know, maybe 100,000 times. And I do this over and over and over. And that's how I get beautiful long lashes. And I don't need to use any falsies, people. Going in with the... What is this called? It is like a waterline, um, like a neutral color from Hard Candy. And prepping my lips with my EOS. And I'm going in with What A Blast Lip Liner from MAC, of course. Lining my entire lips and filling them in with this as well. Oh Lord, 
what happened to my lipstick. Girl problems. Anyways, we are going to still use it. And this is Saigon Summer by MAC. Very creamy. looked. I hope you guys liked it as much as I love creating it. And I hope you guys enjoy Besos. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And so you won't miss any of my videos. Bye.